Hello. It's about a week away from we would begin to ship the F3 device. So there will be some UI changes. We made it more clear by adding CarPlay icon Android Auto. So Android Auto is ran by head unit reloaded. So if you ever um, found it's not functioning then you just press and hold uh, the icon and assign the head unit head unit reloaded for the Android Auto and for the CarPlay uh, it's Zlink Zenova so whenever you're missing the, the link to CarPlay uh, you can assign it as well so and then a few other tweaks are oh this is the uh, new thing this is the maximum brightness override um, our snap system automatically regulate the screen brightness um, on the headlight status so when headlight is on the screen go dimmer uh, assuming that this is nighttime but uh, in daytime when there is a lot of cloud outside sometimes your headlight goes on or uh, or if you went into the uh, some kind of tunnel your headlight will kick in so in that case the screen will dimmer in the tunnel situation it's okay for the system to be um, dimmer but on the rainy day you might find that the uh, in rainy day you might find that the, the, the screen is too dim so in that case you press this button and this will override whatever the you know your headlight status but it will fix the device in the brightest as possible so that's the small change and this is the uh, screen up so if you um, click it then only the clock will appear and in order to access on that you just touch the screen and this one is shortcut to the our car settings and the other one is the it's shortcut to Android uh, settings so I guess that would make things more um, convenient uh, a few days ago I put a notice that um, RS knob F3 will work fine with the USB um, DAC or USB deck. Uh, what they do is uh, they uh, they translate digital um, sound file into the analog sound so that um, this for example this is a uh, USB DAC Olympus 2 I think it's E10 uh, the model number so this one is kind of a small amp for headphone so basically it takes sound through the USB and it amplifies by itself and it's um, feeding the sound to the you know your headphone but um, the significance is that whenever you are trying to do the you know purely digital sound system this is good solution because um, for example this one this one has uh, what do I call it um, coaxial out this one is not the regular RCA but this is if I remember correctly I think it's called SDIPF or something like that so it's digital sound output so you can connect this coaxial out to your uh, gazillion dollar sound digital sound processor with your um, your um, another gazillion dollar uh, effect uh, amp system so if you're going to make a pure um, digital sound system and if you want the delivery of the sound purely digital 
to your amp then you need a USB DAC so this is, I mean you can if you like the USB DAC's um, sound quality you can connect the 3.5 millimeter audio here and then you connect to your sound system and it will work in that way so then the music will be played in 96 kilohertz or something like that I don't know much about the you know um, higher um, high-end audio systems but I guess that's it and if you do want to keep the digital just connect the, your um, USB DAC with RS knob through the USB then RS knob will recognize the USB DAC automatically and it will send sound to this box and this box then would be able to send the digital sound signal into your uh, digital sound processor uh, through the coaxial out which is digital and then and then to your amp uh, but previously the problem was whenever you are using uh, this kind of USB DAC the Google voice command got malfunctioned or any kind of uh, thing that using the mic over here get malfunctioned because a Android use, used to have bug on the um, sound routing so whenever you are every sound is sound output is going to the USB DAC like this then the Android disable the internal mic automatically but well, that still happens but now you have another solution it's an app called lesser audio switch so um, this is an paid app that you can purchase from Play Store and it says um, USB here and then you see the mic icons over here so in this case um, that means that whenever there's a USB sound device connected to the system you can choose which mic the system would use continuously so in that case in here you case internal microphone and that's it then the mic will be remain active for the voice command while uh, every sound output is going through the USB and the USB DAC and the digital output and to your um, ex expensive high-end sound DSP that support the digital coaxial input so that's the basically basic scheme of how you um, create the digital lossless sound system using RS nav head unit so I think I hope this explained pretty much well about your all your question on how to make lossless sound system with RS nav thank you